a block attached to a horizontal spring. A 0.5 kilogram block attached to a spring with length 0.6 meters and force constant 40 newtons per meter is at rest with the back, uh, back of the block at point A on a frictionless horizontal air table. The mass of the spring is negligible. You move the block to the right along the surface by pulling with a constant 20 newton horizontal force. Part A. What is the block's speed when the back of the block reaches point B, which is 0.25 meters to the right of point A? Part B. When the back of the block reaches point B, you let go of the block, so the force is zero. In the subsequent motion, how close does the block get to the wall where the left end of the spring is attached? So how close do we get to the wall? <clears throat> Okay, so um, in part A, initially uh, we have uh, zero potential energy stored in the system. Uh, the block is at rest uh, with the back of the block uh, at point A. Uh, and then we start stretching the spring by applying a force F. So there will be a final potential energy stored at point B. Initial kinetic energy was uh, zero. There will be a final kinetic energy at point B as well. So <clears throat> we can write the initial potential energy is zero. The initial kinetic energy is zero. At point B, we have a potential energy stored in the spring one half k delta x squared so this will be one half 40 newtons per meter was the spring constant multiplied with the amount of stretch 0 0.25 squared and this gives us 1.25 joules stored in the spring there will be a final kinetic energy as the block moves through point B. This is one half m v b squared. The mass of the block was 0 0.5 kilograms. So this will be one half times 0 0.5 v b squared. So this will be 0 0.25 v b squared. Now, as far as the mechanical energy of the system goes, uh, here we have to be careful because there is an external force acting on the system. Change in the mechanical energy is delta K plus delta U, which is equal to the work done by the external force. So if we write this, change in kinetic energy 0 0.25 VB squared, minus zero plus the change in potential energy 1.25 minus zero this must be equal to the work done by this constant force F times delta X so the force was uh, 20 newtons delta X is 0 0.25 meters so uh, they're in the same direction so that product gives us 120 times 0 0.25 cosine 0 is 1 so f times delta x is the work done which is equal to 5 joules all right so this gives us an equation for vb 0.25 vb squared plus 1.25 equals 5 so vb we can calculate to be 5 minus 1.25 divided by 0 0.25 square root which is 3.87 meters per second so that's the speed of the block as the back of the block is touching point B now in the second part of the problem when we are at point B when Delta X is equal to 0 0.25 meters 
the block is released. So the force is now zero. So what do we have in that case? We have a stretch spring uh, and there is no uh, external force acting. So the mechanical energy of the system at that point will be the potential energy plus the kinetic energy, which is 5 joules. So now, uh, with no external force present in the system, um, this mechanical energy will be converted into potential energy as the spring is compressed. So 1 half K delta X max squared will be the final potential energy for maximum compression, the final kinetic energy will be zero. Therefore, we will find that the change in potential energy, one half uh, K delta X max uh, squared uh, minus UB plus zero minus KB will be equal to zero conservation of energy and UB plus KB was five joules. Therefore, we find that one half K delta X max squared should be five joules. So we can calculate delta X max here. Delta X max will be 10 divided by 40 square root, which is 0 0.5 meters towards the left end. Okay, so uh, the equilibrium distance from the uh, the wall to the uh, to point A was 0 0.6 meters. Now we compress it 0 0.5 meters maximum compression on the spring. So the distance between the block, back end of the block and the wall will be 0 0.1 meters. So the block reaches. A minimum distance of 0 0.6 minus 0 0.5 uh, 0 0.10 meters to the ball. So it's going to be 0 0.10 meters minimum distance to the wall at the left end. Okay, so in this problem, we have a 0.5 kilogram block attached to a spring with a equilibrium length 0 0.6 meters and force constant 40 nanometers, 40 uh, newtons per meter. It is at rest with the back of the block at point A on a frictionless table, so there's no friction. There's no friction, but still energy is not conserved because we have an external force being present uh, on the system, which pu pulls the block to the right to stretch the spring by an amount 0 0.25 meters. So we want to know what is the speed of the block at this point B. And if we go let go of the block at this point, what will be the minimum distance to the wall when we reach maximum compression in the spring? So, uh, Initial potential energy and kinetic energy are zero. Uh, the potential energy at point B will be the energy stored in the spring, one half K delta X squared. And then we have a kinetic energy, one half MBB squared. And the change in the mechanical energy is worked on by the external force. The force and displacement are in the same direction. So 20 times 0.25. 5 joules is the change in the mechanical energy of the system, which gives us uh, the speed at point B. And if we release the block at delta X is equal to 0 0.25 meters, there is no more external force present in the system. So the total mechanical energy of the block at that point, which is 5 joules, will be converted into potential energy of the spring as the spring compresses and for maximum compression, final kinetic energy will be zero. So we find the maximum compression using this information to be 0 0.5 meters 
and that implies if we have 0 0.5 meters uh, to the left 0 0.1 meters uh, will be the minimum distance between the wall and the back end of the block. 